It's Team Duplicolor versus Team BHT, and it starts right now. We've watched the paint go down on these trucks, and they look awesome. They're just about ready to be put back together for the big final reveal. But before that, one competition remains, and it goes down right here in the beds of the trucks. Now, both teams will be using Duplicolor bed armor. It's available in black and several camo colors as well. They can do whatever they want, but they've got to make it good. They've got to make it count. This really is the last chance to get out and rock the boat. Matt, how you doing? Good, man. How's it coming over here with the bed armor project? It's going well. Now, you guys had everything taped off, masked off, scuffed the whole deal, right? Right. Which was a lot more work than actually doing it. Yeah, that's what right. It's right all now. in the prep, and then after that, this goes really quickly. Now, I've done this whole bed armor project myself probably, I don't know, 50 times, with, without exaggeration. Right. You know? And I know the kit comes with everything that you need for the rollers and the brushes and all that, but I got to tell you, I like this application the best. I agree with you. I think it's just a little bit easier. You don't have to crawl around in there and hurt your knees. You can just spray it on there. You get a nice uniform finish and you see a great flow of the texture coming out. Too. And it's a lot quicker. It is I a mean, lot quicker. Minutes and the whole thing's done. And so. you told us to keep it going, speed it back up. So all right, buddy. I'm trying. out of your way. All right. So, yeah. Limited Thank time, you. brother. Last chance to rock the boat, kid. Make That's it right. Happen. I'm going to rock it. All right, what do you think? You ready to pick a final color? Getting there. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, I think I'm leaning toward more. Okay. Hey, kids. What's hey. happening? Not much. How are you? Good, good. I like what's going on here. This is cool. Man, working his butt off over here. Nice Always. Job. What do we have going on here? Because this looks a little similar to the other one, right? We're, we're not done yet. Oh, no? No. What do you got? We got these great camo colors. That's right. We got a little yeah, selection. Yeah, we, we got a little selection of camo colors here. We're just trying to decide what we're going to put over the original Bedomer. I get it. You throw it on the first layer because it's got the Kevlar in it. So you get That's the strength, right. right? Yep. And then you dress it up with one of the. Which color are you using? Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> we can't tell you anything. What are you talking about? You can't keep a secret for anything. The any... vault. It's the vault's up. broken. The vault is broken. So you're yeah, not going to no. tell me? Nope. Bye bye. That's... Bye. That's bye. Bye bye. Take a look at what we completed here. It looks great. I mean, it matches, it flows, everything about it I like, especially the gun. I love the spray gun. I agree, you know, it's just really easy to apply. It gives it kind of a nice uniform textured appearance. If you did use the roller, you'd get a little chunkier texture down here, but the gun just saves you a lot of time. And if you're gonna do a lot of these, it's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I like both finishes, so you can't go wrong with that. But like you said, it's all about time and getting it done quick. So you know what else I dig? Right. I don't know why you guys did this, but at the top of the rail, but I like it because that flows into the glass, right? And then we've got this burnt orange line right here that mm -hmm. kind of, I don't know, visually it just sort of pops. Yeah, we really like that too because a lot of times when it's a working truck, so you're going to have a lot of things in here and when do you not have something not resting on here? A lot of times like wood and whatnot. So sure. Wanted to protect it, but also make it look nice and accented as you mentioned as well. Makes sense, man. I think it looks great and I can't wait to see the whole thing put together. Thank Good you. Good job. There's your surprise. That's the color. What I do you love think? it. I think it looks great. I don't know why you wouldn't want to tell me about it earlier, but whatever. 
Yeah. It's it's fine. We, we wanted to surprise you with the sandstorm because we wanted to go with this really cool, tough color that's going to match the wheels that we did earlier. Something different. I do like surprises from time to time, and I like this one. And sandstorm, that's a cool name, too. Isn't it? Yeah, it, it's got a rugged kind of feel to it, right? It so. does. So we use the aerosol on top of the bed armor kit, so we've got extra durability, extra protection with that Kevlar. We kept the black on the rails on the side, yep. so we did a little bit of everything but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I love it, I think it looks great, and that brings this particular competition to an end. So now it is up to you guys to vote and see who wins the bed armor competition. You know, I thought we'd mix it up a little bit. Why don't you present them with the options that they can vote for? Sure, so you can either vote for that shiny little penny over there right. in the VHT garage, or this nice big pickup truck that can roll over their shiny little penny. Hmm. Your choice, it's up to you. Well said.